At 36 years old, some would say Sakima Mr. Smooth Mullings is nearing the end of his career. Mullings learned last year that he has retinitis pigmentosa. This is a hereditary condition affecting the retina in his left eye, which also causes sensitivity to light. He says he discovered it soon after his sixth round technical knockout win over Edmond de Clou last year. But he says it's a condition that's been deteriorating over time. I noticed a little bit of light sensitivity in, in, um, in my eyes. Mm -hmm. So I started getting checked out by the, um, the doctors to see what was, um, what was going on. And they let me know that I had maybe um, some, some, some uh, a, a tear in terms of with um, some complications with my, with my retina. So over the, um, the months of um, going to, to trying to get the situation dealt with and going to, to, um, to different doctors, um, it turned out to be, um, a, I think it, what it will be is a, a, ret a retinal detachment or um, a retinal tear. It's been a hard year for the two-time Rayan Navy Contender Series champion, but he's not deterred. It's tough, man. It's, um, boxing is a, is a thing where you have to develop a certain type of mentality to, um, to do this. And when, you know, like the amount of doctors that I've been to and the amount of times I've been to the doctors and when the doctors consistently are telling you that um, you have to really consider a new um, career path after dedicating um, your life to something is hard to, um, to swallow and to accept. For them to tell me that um, this injury is what will, um, you know, re retire me or, um, or, or, or stop my career is kind of, um, it's unacceptable for me. Mullings says he did not want anyone to know what was happening unless they needed to, and definitely not until he could process what he learned and figured out how to relate to family and friends. But his 12-year-old daughter, Cadence, has been coming to terms with the injury. The only thing more important to me than boxing is um, are my daughters. So, like as uh, as I was going through my situation, um, Cadence is old enough to understand. So you know, I had um, I, 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 like we, we we've had long discussions and long talks about um, what's going on with my um, with myself and um, and with my vision. So you know, she 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 definitely understands. And um, my quality of life is 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 definitely important to me in terms of. Um, preserving my vision so that I could watch my um, my daughters grow up. So, you know, that's why I've, I've taken everything that the doctors have said seriously. And on second hand, um, you know, I also have the ambition and um, the desire to um, to fight again. Mullings' injury is similar to another local boxer's. That's Ricardo Surgeon Smith, who won the contender in 2011. But he says he hasn't yet reached out to him nor the boxing fraternity as a whole to share his experience. You know, psychologically and emotionally, it could be very difficult. So, like, like you know, what I mean, for my psychological and emotional, um, in my, in, in, in my mental well-being, like you know, what I, mean? I have to speak to my to my to my family and to my team about my situation. Otherwise, I, I would probably go insane. You know, dealing with a situation like this. But in terms of um, speaking openly and publicly to um, to everybody out there, like you know, what I mean, uh, like uh, it, it's been a long, it, it's been it's been a long, lonely road. Mullings is determined to cap off his story with a comeback fight. His friend and promoter Tyler Buxton is ready and willing to support such a move when he's ready. He's, at, he's, he's coming into the end of his career. You know what I mean? This is the time to take, take those big fights, to take the step up and to see exactly, you know, can he win a world title? Um, but first and foremost is, is, is obviously his health, right? So it's, it's a tough fight. If he does what he has to do, I, I believe that, you know, the doctors will, will get him back in the ring. And... Um, you know, set up for that comeback fight.